Hello, Kristen again with MinisterToChildren.com. I hope you're ready for some fun and engaging craftivities today because we've got a few things that go along with the idea that we are the body of Christ, that as a church we are made up of many parts, and that we are a body of believers. So along these lines, I have two crafts and then an extra little activity that you could do if you were working with a group of kids. Even a small group would work with this. So first, for the crafts. Craft number one is we are going to make a person of sorts. So you will need some construction paper or cardstock or index cards. You could do multiple different types of paper. And then you'll need some scissors, some kind of markers or decorative material supplies. Um, and you'll also need these little brad fasteners because that's going to help you make a person that can move. So the first step is to kind of decide if you would like your person to be all the sorts of different fun colors or all the same color. It's up to you or to the kid or whoever's doing it. And you'll want to trace some sort of an outline. So let's say I'm going to start with a main body. And I'll sort of, depending on how large you want this to be, we'll sort of make a like a sort of a peanut shaped blob for my main torso there. And now maybe I want the head to be in the same color. So I'm going to make a little circle for the head and maybe I'll do some feet. Now, obviously this is not going to be terribly accurately to scale of an actual human being, but do your, do your best, do even better hopefully than mine. And then on each of these things, you can also write different types of gifts that we might be given in the church or different types of gifts that God would give us that we could use to serve or talent. So you can also, of course, make your person smiley, give them a face, give them some hair, however you like. But you, know, you might say something like um, gifts of love or maybe service or maybe even something like musical talent. Then you're going to do that with other body parts as well. So again, I guarantee you that with my less than fantastic drawing ability, this is not going to be fan fabulous, but we're just going to do our best. So here's our little arm here. And this arm is going to, there's another arm. That arm looks a lot like a foot. I don't even know if there's five fingers on that hand. Go figure. So maybe you say something like patience. Some people have the gift of patience or listening. I guess I should have put that on the head with some ears, but you get the idea. Then let's do some legs down here. And of course we already have feet. So the legs are kind of going to attach up to the body. Wow, this is a long legged person indeed. And maybe the legs are going to be things like generosity. Some people are very generous or speaking. Some people are good at speaking. And we need a neck. Let's make a little neck that says something like, wow, that's not, there we go. Teaching, ran out of room. So it's just teach. So now we have our body parts. We're going to cut them out. Then we're gonna see how very interestingly they do or do not fit together. So there's our neck. And again, you can make this, certainly you can make this more elaborate. You might even wanna make, if you're doing it one color, you could, draw the entire body and cut it out first and then cut it into pieces. Though that's a little bit on the strange and macabre side because you're cutting a body into pieces, but you know, whatever, go for it. So here's my itty bitty arms. Goodness gracious, yes, please feel free to do a lot better. This is just going to give you the idea. And, and you can also, maybe on the head of it, you could put a cross to remind us that the, that Christ is the head of the body of the church, um, or you can, and or, you can also do some sort of a verse, a caption to remind you of what's going on. So here's a little peanut body. 
And now what we're going to do, once you've got all your pieces cut out, sort of like a puzzle, we're going to put this body buddy together. And as you go through this, you can talk about the passage from Romans and what it means to be a body of Christ and what it means to give yourselves to God, that he has given us all we have. And so it only follows that we give it back to him. So some of these body parts, we're going to tape or glue together. And then some of them, we're going to use the brads so that this person can move his or her appendages and do things. So we're going to start with the feet. We can just go ahead and tape onto the legs unless you want your feet to move too. That's fine. And then we're going to, whoo, down here. Where is it down here? I don't know, that would be a club-footed person, maybe not. So after you get those guys on, then you're going to stick. We'll go ahead and tape for the neck as well because necks just don't swivel that much unless you're an owl. And then we'll tape, I guess this person's bald for the moment anyways. Again, you can add hair. So now we're going to take our handy dandy brad fasteners and we're going to attach those other body parts so that they can move. And then you'll just make sure when you tie it in the back, don't do it too tight because then the person won't really move at all. I mean, unless you just don't want your person to move, that's fine too. Maybe he's got flexibility problems. So here's our arms are incredibly out of proportion torso and now for our legs now of course if you would like to practice modesty feel free to add some clothes for your person clothe them with the fruits of the spirit perhaps and feel free to also cat has stolen one of my fasteners that's okay um or if you want to make it like skeleton and you want these to all be bones that's okay too. You know, go Ezekiel style and just make them all bones. It's it's totally up to you. However involved or decorative or simple you want this to be. Um, and then maybe this person is straddling something. See, they've got. And then of course you can add your verse caption to remind yourselves of what it is we're talking about. And then you have. There we go. Romans 12, 1 through eight is our passage this week. There are others to talk about the body, of course, as well. Lots of fun body verse passages. So there we have it. You've got your wonderful little body person with all of these great traits that you might practice in the church. Yes, we'll do a cat one next time. And so that's number one. Number two, this is also a body involved. Okay, say hello. Say hello. Come say bye. Um, a body involved craft. That's a fun one for... If you just need something extra creative and still want to talk somewhat about body parts. So we're going to make kind of one of these. This is, of course, well, it's Mrs. Potato Head, not quite Mr. Potato Head, but we're going to make our own potato head thing. Now, there are multiple ways to go about doing this. Obviously, we're not making this exact one, but we're going to make something fashioned after it because look at all these fun body parts. They come off and on. Ours do not, but that's okay. So you can use an actual potato, of course, or a potato if you prefer. You can use an apple. You can use a cucumber. You can use a pear. You can use a banana. Don't recommend tomatoes because the juice might spurt everywhere and that could just get really messy. But for our purposes today, we're going to use an apple. And basically, you're just going to have fun designing your apple and turning it into a body. There are multiple ways that you could do this. You could take some fun markers and just mark and draw on it. That's one way, of course. You could take some glue and you could glue on some googly eyes. Now, of course, you can glue on all of your parts or what I would maybe recommend those are really large eyes, is also if you've got some sort of a toothpick or perhaps like a 
longer toothpick or a sword pick, you can attach things in that way as well. So maybe you've got your little pick here and you want to throw something on the end of it like a pom-pom or even a little jewel. You could stick that on the end of your, of your picky thingy and then you can stab that into the apple and sort of make it more pronounced that way. Ta -da! Or maybe you want to wrap some fun pipe cleaner around him and dress him up like that. Or give him a little nose. Or use another toothpick to just give him a longer nose. Kind of like Pinocchio. Oh, hello, Juicy. So, um, so feel free to to draw, to glitter, to adorn, to poke and prod and be creative and have all kinds of fun with your lovely little potato head, apple man, whatever you decide it to be, creation. But just remember we're making it with a body of many parts, just like we have bodies with many parts and like we are a church body of many parts. Okay, one more quick thing now. This is more of an activity. It's more of like an opening game that you might do, but it's a fun one. So what you're going to do is you're going to start with a piece of paper. It's helpful if you have a long piece of paper. So we're actually going to, we're going to put a couple pieces of paper together for this activity. And you're going to fold this paper into several pieces. And you're going to play a little game where you create some sort of a creature. So the idea here is, dun, dun, dun. you want to fold it into maybe, maybe four or five, depending on how many people you're working with and what kind of creature you kind of want to create. So what you're going to do is, you're going to start with one side at a time. You're going to draw different parts of this creature's body. So you'll have your children that you're working with in some sort of a table or a circle or something, and they're going to use crayons, markers, what have you, uh, to draw their different parts of this collective body. But they're not gonna know what the other person has drawn. So you might tell the first person, okay, draw from the neck up and the first person will maybe draw this little maybe they decide they want to make a unicorn and here's their neck and the unicorn obviously unicorns aren't my strong suit here's the little unicorn horn here's the little unicorn mane here's the unicorn well now they're going to hide that first part flip it over and the next person is going to draw the body so maybe you tell this person draw the body and the arms so now here comes person number two and maybe they decided that they wanted their creation to be a let's say they want it to be a fish so their body and arms happen to have a little fin on the back and maybe some scales maybe some little flippers here flipper flipper Wow, I've never seen a fish that looked like this, but you know, maybe it's a dragon, I don't know. We're, we're just being creative. So there's that part then. You're going to invite them to fold again. And this next fold is going to be the legs. So now this next person, let's say this next person decided to do the legs. Uh, legs are actually pretty easy, but let's say we're doing some sort of like monkey legs. I don't know, just short, stumpy, whatever. Here's the little legs with a drying out marker. Then the last thing is gonna be the feet. So the last person is going to draw the feet. And maybe this person decided that they wanted duck feet. So we're gonna have some little webby feet here. It's kind of what a duck feet looks like, right? Now, the fun part comes because now you hand your creation back to the original person that it started with and you open it up to find that this body that has come together is a strange 
duck, unicorn, aquatic bean thing. So that's just a fun little way of demonstrating that we all have our unique qualities and our creative qualities and God uses us to work together to make a very functional and interesting body. So have fun, get creative, get crafty, make something special, make some disciples. See you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.